Hello, this is Kiwana Talk. My name is Ray Scaboria. I'll be your host for this evening's program. Kiwana Talk is a public information program brought to you from the facilities of WDHS at Dearborn High School by members of the Dearborn Kiwanis Club and students that help us with the uh, recording the shows. Today, we're very pleased to have as our guest, uh, Melissa Schaff. Uh, Melissa, it's nice to have you on Kiwana Talk it's today. It's very exciting to be here, thank you. Okay. Uh, Melissa, give us a little of your background, uh, bringing us up to date on uh, like where you grew up, went to school, and what you're doing now. Sure, I went to three Catholic schools, St. Pascal, St. Cyril, and St. Alfred's, and then I went to John F. Kennedy uh, High School. Okay. And now I'm working as a historic presenter in Greenfield Village. Okay. Now at Greenfield Village, tell us a little bit about some of the, uh, where you do your, your, the presenting, where you actually work. I work in the Ford Home and Firestone Farm. Okay. And uh, uh, now when you do this as a presenter, you're always in, uh, uh, we call it period attire, would you not? Or attire that's supposed to yes. put you in a period that's uh, consistent with the, exactly. uh, the time the buildings were in use by the by the, well, the Ford family mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. the Firestone exactly, family. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So one of them is 1876 and the other is 1885. So I'm wearing a chemise, a corset, two petticoats, the actual dress, an apron, and a bonnet when I step outside. So this is, uh, I, I'm sure this is something that uh, became a kind of an interest of yours. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it definitely did. I've yeah. always really been interested in vintage clothing. Okay. Well, what, what, uh, what, the reason behind our show, and I'm, I'm going to give a little background here. Uh, my wife, Jane, and I uh, worked as cashiers uh, when, when the Dearborn Historical Museum had a garage sale. Mm -hmm. And this was on the 25th and the 26th of July this past uh, summer. And um, on the 25th, it was kind of busy because all the dealers came in. Because mm -hmm. you know, they were looking for whatever they could get that they thought they could resell and make some money on. And, uh, but the next day, it was slow until you came in. <laughs> <laughs> so you and your mom came in, and I remember that uh, you came over close to the cashier's table, mm -hmm. and there was a, a little purse on the table. There was. And why, why don't we get that out so people can see that purse? I know you have sure. it right handy here. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, this is a, 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 a small purse that uh, I would think, uh, the, a woman might wear to to a, a, a dance or something like that, and it's beaded. And, and honestly, how many beads are on there? Thousands. Thousands. Say? The Thousands. detail is absolutely stunning. Yeah, and uh, when I, I I pointed it out to you, and you said, "Hang on to that yeah, for me." Yeah, yeah. Can we set that aside? I don't want anyone to pick that up. This is going to be mine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have plenty more looking to do, but I knew this was the first good find. <laughs> yeah, and. Uh, my wife and I, we didn't have a lot to do, so we, we kind of watched you look around. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's another nice lady there, uh, Shirley was mm -hmm. her name, huh? Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us a little bit about how, how the uh, morning proceeded at that point. Well, I found this. I found um, a few little white gloves. Actually, I set those aside, and then I went over to the dress, dress rack and it was Miss Shirley's. Uh, she was showing me all these dresses and I found a few and I just was in awe. I just loved them. I was going on and I had my mom holding, you know, 10 dresses maybe, <laughs> and I finally found a room where I could go change them and try them on to see if they actually fit, or see if it was worth buying. Yeah. And I had a really good time trying all of them on. Yeah, it was, uh, it was quite, quite the fashion show. Oh, know? it was. I came out for every dress <laughs> and every dress, ooh! <laughs> <laughs> it, it was fun. It was a lot of fun for us. Uh, it really, it was. <laughs> but uh, now, uh, during while you were t trying the dresses on, uh, you you came across some other things, and um, one of the things you came across was a black purse. Yes. And um, you told me the purse has had a little needs a little repair, but mm -hmm. but uh, uh, that purse is here also. But you brought that over to the table as well. Huh? Mm -hmm. And uh, then you went back and you so were looking at the dresses. Mm -hmm. Trying more. <laughs> but in the meantime, I just, I didn't have anything much to do. Mm -hmm. So I, I picked up the purse and started to look in it, you know, and so on. And describe 
what I pulled out of the purse. So you were awfully excited and I was, <laughs> what's so exciting? You know, I know I love this handbag. It was like going to be $5. It was this beautiful vintage little velvet black handbag. And you said that you found something in it and you had, I believe, already knew that I worked at Greenfield Village. Yeah. And you pulled out a little ticket stub that said the Edison Institute and the ladies went wild and I was really not understanding then I realized that's what they used to call a Greenfield Village yeah. and they probably stopped calling it I believe the Edison Institute maybe the 50s or the 60s. Oh it's so later than that but it maybe the 70s. Maybe yeah. so yeah. I mean the little ticket stub was torn in half and that's how they used to do the tickets for Greenfield Village and that that ticket was in that handbag that I was about to purchase was just meant to be. It was just <laughs> couldn't believe it. Yeah. But the last time that handbag may have been there was at Greenfield Village and back in that long ago maybe. Well we figure we figure that's uh, 60 to 70 years ago mm -hmm. that that stub got left in that handbag mm -hmm. and uh, and somebody was at Greenfield Village with that, with that handbag so it was and kind I, of a it was kind of a I fun brought thing it back to, to Greenfield Village at Old Car Festival. <laughs> oh did you? Mm -hmm. okay. The first time it was back there it was Old Car Festival so. And actually that purse even though it's the top is separated. It had such an interesting feature in it. Uh, why don't you pick the purse up and uh, show the little key device that it has in it, if you can pull it out. Okay, or a napkin, whatever. I think it might have been device. used for a hanky. Or oh, you think so? I think okay. so. Okay, it oh. has this little retractable chain, and so that you can uh, attach something to it, mm -hmm. a hanky, we'll say. And then when you're done, you can just let it retract back into the, <laughs> into the pocketbook. <laughs> so, so uh, um, Melissa's gonna has a, uh, uh, a a friend who can repair the the yes. top section and crimp it back mm -hmm. on the pocketbook. Mm -hmm. But uh, and that's that's a perfectly functional small pocketbook. Oh, there's the ticket. There's the ticket. <laughs> I wonder if we can get up close enough, but. The other side kind this, of this side says Edison Institute on it, mm -hmm. and uh, and of course it has a number on it. It looks like a lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> it <know>? does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okie doke. Well, now tell us tell us a little bit about some of the dresses, as you recall, uh, like like which ones you tried on, and uh, if you can recall the order at all. Sure, I um, want to say the green dress, a green velvet dress, uh, was the first one I picked, and I it looked very small, so I was not sure if it was going to fit me or not. So I just I sucked it up and I tried it on, and it <laughs> did fit perfectly. But uh, I also found a little white dress with some little red or pink rosebuds on it, and that was kind of newer; it wasn't too as old. But then I also found a yellow dress with a beautiful ruffle collar that looked like it could have been like a 60s dress and it came with a belt. It looked like no one really had tried it on. And I went and tried it on and the cinching the belt with it really made it work really well. I think maybe people thought it was too big because it did look quite big on the hanger. But then when you cinch the little belt with it, it really came together perfectly. I actually have that one here. Yeah, that's... I just loved the... That's a real... Real summery kind of a dress, yes. you know. Yes, I did wear it in the summertime to get some uh, ice cream, so that was <laughs> very appropriate. It felt. <laughs> yeah. And then I also found this little shawl with this very beautiful little flower detailing on the side of it. And you, I believe you put this on over that dress, did you not? Or the green dress. Oh, over the green yes. dress. Okay. Yes. Over the green dress. Okay. Because it, it looked like it needed some repairs, but then after I actually tried it on back at home, it really didn't. It really didn't look too bad. So okay. I think the side was just a little bit undone, yeah. but uh, my mom was able to fix that. Yeah, I'd, I'd be careful with irons around any of this stuff. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> you might find they don't take the, you know, make sure they're. You know, there's a protective cloth between the iron and the mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. the, and the uh, at, you know dress tape mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> now, it, do you do you see a, a possible opportunity of wearing any of these at the village at some time? Yes, no. if I feel like if our Christmas wasn't so chilly, maybe early on for the holiday nights, that green dress is going to be absolutely perfect. The yellow one is definitely a perfect summer dress for there. Usually when I go there, I do get compliments on my clothing because I'm usually wearing vintage clothing <laughs> <laughs> or vintage inspired clothing. But uh, any of those, yes, absolutely. They, they wouldn't fit with, with, with the presenting so much because no. that, but 
but there are other events at the village where you could you could wear them. Exactly. That's the idea. Yes, yeah. I think um, Old Car Festival would have been a very good one for the velvet dress. I see. Mm -hmm. is, you mean the green one? Yes. Is that the green yes, one? Yes, okay. Yes. Or <laughs> <Yeah>. Roz. <laughs> yeah. Well, now tell, give us, give us the little story about the we call why we called it the Roz. Okay. Well, there is actually a photo of His Girl Friday of Rosalind Russell, and I actually have the photo, and the dress looks almost identical to hers. It's not exactly green in the photo, but it looks exactly like the green dress. <laughs> So that's why we've identified that as the yes. Roz. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look at that. How about that? So. Gosh, that goes back uh, even a little bit before that period. When you say that, that's got to be uh, uh, 40s, wouldn't you say? I believe this was 30s. Oh, 30s. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. There's also a movie, um, Holiday, with Katherine Hepburn and Cary Grant, and her dress looks, her New Year's Eve dress looks identical to that one as well, but she has a little handkerchief she pins on it, yeah. and it's the exact same style. Well, that, that, that probably puts the dress right in that period. <laughs> I <laughs> think know, so. It's a good I, way to, I think to, so. <laughs> yeah. Is there any identification on the dress as to where it came from or uh, where it was? I don't believe that there were any tags on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. That kind of implies maybe they're, they're tailored, wouldn't you say? Possibly. I mean, you could tell that it was very, very old. Yeah. by the detailing of it and kind of was falling apart just a little bit. It looked like it was very, very well made, but yeah. still, like it's been through some wear. Yeah, yeah. I, I would think that, that, uh, that if, it was, if it was, you know, any particular brand, they'd have a tag in it. Of course, yes. Whereas if it was made by, if it was tailored, if it was made specifically for a person, mm -hmm. then, then it's a good chance it wouldn't have a tag. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel know. like it was made for me now. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm, I'm, I'm saying in talking to you, it seems to me that you, you, you're kind of moving in the direction of uh, this be being more than just for fun. That you could, you might, you might do some of this uh, looking into the clothing and associating with the job you have now. Uh, um, it, at least that's the way. Yeah, as soon as you got these, you're thinking, where can I wear it? Yes. <laughs> right. That is very true. Usually I get very excited when I find a dress, especially an old dress. Where am I going to be able to wear this to? Usually the village, because they usually have, always have really fun events there. But um, working there, and you're almost like put back in another time. You know, yeah. when you're on the Firestone Farm, you're working in a farm from 1885. So you're living their life, basically. Same thing with the Ford home. You're kind of presenting their life as they did in 1876. Yeah. So it's kind of nice going back to a different time. Yeah. We enjoy, we've enjoyed the village. We've been, uh, uh, what, members for mm -hmm. years and years and mm -hmm. years and years. And we go over there, uh, well, we'll go over there just to walk, mm -hmm. you know, because it's a big, uh, and it's a beautiful place to you walk. You did come in and one Sunday, I believe, yeah. at the end. Yeah. You came into the Ford home when I saw yeah. you. But we're over there a lot. And in the winter, we'll walk in the museum because mm -hmm. it gets a little chilly to walk out. Right. The, and it's closed <laughs> most of the time in the winter. Right. <laughs> Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna stop and take a short break mm -hmm. to uh, to do a little uh, commercial for Kiwanis, mm -hmm. and uh, right after that, we'll come back and we'll talk a little more about uh, maybe we'll talk about the green dress a oh, little more. That would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> so join us right after the break. <laughs> It's easy to get caught up in the details, the day-to-day -day grind, numb to the noise, going round and round and round. Deep down, there's something missing, a void inside, a hole to fill, a life lacking. Then, in a minute of clarity, it hits you. The aha moment. You're needed. Kids need you. Kids of all kinds. All these funny, rambunctious, sweet, attention-seeking, vulnerable bundles of energy. They need your love and support. Some have huge life hurdles. Poverty disease, hunger, and they're reaching out for you, 
around the corner, around the world. You are a Kiwanian at heart, a role model, a guide, a builder of dreams. Together, we are Kiwanis, passionate and strong, ready to move mountains or grains of sand. Imagine every child reaching their potential. The power to help is in you. It's not about us. It's about them. Do you hear the call? Kids need Kiwanis. Kiwanis needs you. Hello, I'm Ray Skiboria. We're back here on Kiwana Talk, and uh, I'm here with Melissa Schaff, and uh, we, we have a little surprise when we get uh, both of us on camera here. Uh, Melissa's wearing the green dress. I am. And uh, it, it looks lovely on you. Thank it really you. does. Thank you. And I was wondering if you could stand up and uh, it would give people the, the, sure. the, the real uh, image of, of that looks lovely. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is, this is the first time, I think, I'm pretty sure it's the first time we've had a guest that wore two different outfits on our <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a short talk show, but we we figured we'd fit it in today. That sounds it, <laughs> like me, though, wanting to change outfits and just showing them all off. So <laughs> it works just fine for me. <laughs> well, I I do hope you get some uh, some good opportunity to wear the dress because it's 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 lovely and uh, thank you. Uh, uh, it it's you you seem to be interested in this whole idea of period clothing. Mm -hmm. And of course it ties in with uh, where you work. Mm -hmm, <laughs> you definitely. I, I was gonna ask just a little bit about uh, when the presenting, when you do the presenting, you have a, a certain amount of material that, that you, you kind of study so that you can, you can talk about it with, with guests, is that right? Yes, each home has a manual. The manuals are about oh, okay. yay thick, depend, just depending. Um, and you kind of get a background story of the family and how they lived, things to talk about, different stories. You know, the, the Ford family is a lot of stories. The Firestone Farm, you're actually working, you're actually doing their Victorian work schedule. So it's more coming up with your own story about what you're actually doing at the moment. Yeah. And then I'm also working at the Giddings home, John Giddings, for fall flavors, and that'll be for holiday nights as well. And that home usually isn't open for presenters. Okay. So usually there's just not many people to hire, I guess, to have them in the home all the time. But for fall flavors, there is a, a lady in there cooking. And then they have the lady of the home, which is what I am, in 1760 with the giant penges and the kind of a Marie Antoinette dress. Okay. So I'm presenting in that home, too. The, the, that's one thing is, is if, if you go to different periods, the clothing really changed it a really lot. It really does, And yes. it also depended what where people came from mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes there were a lot of times there were religious connections and so like uh, uh, like that yes you know? exactly yeah yeah we uh i i i actually um, grew up in eastern pennsylvania oh. and around there there's a there's a lot of um, uh, uh, people surrounding the philadelphia area that were uh, mennonites or amish oh we and get of course funny, they, yeah. they had they had uh, the women's clothing was quite distinctive mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> for, for both both of them. I think they yeah. really enjoy coming to the village because they see they're kind of living that same sort of life. Yeah. The, you know, we don't have the vehicles like we do <laughs> now, except for the Model T's, of course, but they kind of like the farm times. Okay. Um, now, now, we had a, a few items in there. You also have a little headpiece that you, you, you got over yes, at the- Yes, two of them, actually. The, uh, mm -hmm. Museum. Can, can we take a look at that mm -hmm. and give us a little pitch on it? <laughs> so this one's a bit more summery, which will be definitely fun to wear. I did wear this once already this summer. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't help it, it's very fun. And then this one I think is a good little more warmer winter, wintry one. Could probably be used for. So that'll be kind of nice for Christmas time. Yeah, it, it's interesting, headpieces and hats is, uh, you know, they're just not in now. 
They're but, not. But, but uh, you know, it's, it's something fun if you want to do a period thing, you know. You put it on, you can put yourself in, in a period. Definitely. That's kind of what I do every day, though. I mean, I really enjoy those times. I really am not one to go find an outfit that's from a, a normal shop that a lot of people are wearing today. <laughs> I really like to kind of live in that time. Now, have you got, had a chance to, to uh, show any of these uh, pieces uh, with to some of the folks that you interact with at the village? No, I haven't. But you, you're looking forward to the opportunity. Yes, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So you were saying possibly there's uh, an event at, around around Christmas, is it? Yes. And, well, what would that be? That I'm would just, be holiday night. Oh, holiday night. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Or you, even the Christmas tree lighting ceremony yeah. inside the museum. Yeah. This and obviously green's good for uh, around uh, this the is Christmas holidays. This definitely going to be my Christmas dress this year. 100% <laughs> I already know it. <laughs> okay. Now, what do, what do you see yourself doing down the road, you know, uh, it, it, say, say uh, uh, in the next, you know, it's because you enjoy this, do you see this, uh, you're expanding your career somewhat in this area? Sure, I think it'd be kind of fun to even open my own vintage shop, but I feel like if I did that, I kind of would want everything for myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, uh, y you know, the secret of happiness in life is making other people happy. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that, that, that would be a way you could, you could uh, have the same effect on some other people. That is some true. Other, young women that mm -hmm. were interested in clothing, you know? Because that day when I got all these goodies, I was absolutely over the moon. <laughs> yeah, and it's not like uh, everybody would be coming in. It would mm -hmm. be, it would be, you, you'd actually be attracting the people that, that are that have the kind of the common interests that you do. Exactly, you know what I'm yes, saying? yes. And I, I see that as something that might be quite enjoyable and, and also be a way of uh, maybe expanding your you know your interest a little bit yeah, and definitely. maybe your income who knows <laughs> who knows <laughs> <laughs> okay melissa when you you uh and now have you, did you uh when you graduated from high school did you go right into uh working for the village or had you did you have any uh time in uh college or anything like that no i didn't okay. actually i um started working at a little fruit stand where a lot of my family actually worked at and then i started to work as a nanny for a few families, and then I found the village. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, the village is a really enjoyable place. It really is. Yeah. It always <laughs> made me happy going as a visitor. And one day, my friend said, "You know, why don't you try working there? You know, you really enjoy this so much. Just coming here for walks. You know, and you really enjoy this lifestyle. Go for it. Try it." So. Well, the other thing about the village is that um, most people are having a good time when they're there. They're yeah. there. On, most people are there on vacation, or even even the local people are going there because they wanna mm -hmm. they wanna break from you know their their routine, right. you know, mm -hmm. and uh, and and all of the um, the rides make it uh, quite interesting, you know, and uh, uh, that we we went we weren't there for long, but we went to the old car festival. That's that's really amazing it the really cars was. they bring to that it was incredible i think they um they over they broke a record actually i believe this saturday it was yeah. that many people there yeah i could i could, couldn't believe how the parking lots were so jammed full i know it was very week. hard to find parking <laughs> <laughs> yeah but the best thing to do if you want to go on those busy weekends is wait till about three thirty. Yes, that is then a very... Then there's people starting to leave, and if you pull in, you can find a space. Yep, definitely. You know, but but th you don't want to go at 1 o'clock, because nope. you won't find a space. <laughs> you won't. You'll be uh, <laughs> taking the shuttle, possibly, if you don't get lu that lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping that you have opportunities to, to uh, find a tire like this maybe in other sales. Uh, you probably will keep your eyes open. Oh, yes, I will. I always want to <laughs> well, find a new vintage shop to go into <laughs> or even a yard sale. You never know what you're going to find. Yeah. So you do go to some yard sales and look at look at clothing also. Sometimes, sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, well, I, I do want to say that we had such an enjoyable time watching you. That, Thank you. That, and, uh, and, uh, I wanted to get a little bit of, of the experience you had on on the screen, so people could get a little feel of how much <laughs> how much fun you had. Oh well, gosh, look at my face! <laughs> 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 it was so much fun because I'm remembering that day, and it was just it was a blast. You know, uh, 
my mom and I, we really weren't even sure if we were actually going to go that day, but we just went in and I think a few years ago, actually, I, we went to it and I found a few things, just a couple things. And yeah. then this year I just found an abundance and it was just like, this is the year, you know, I'm getting all this good stuff. All of this is actually fitting me. You know, how did I get this lucky? Yeah. Well, would you say uh, probably a lot of uh, women were probably on the average smaller yes. if you go back. 60 or 70 years. Yes, uh, they uh, were maybe 90, 100 pounds. <laughs> that wasn't unusual. No, it yeah. wasn't. So we're, we're kind of, we're getting down to a couple of minutes. And uh, uh, I, is there anything else that you wanted to talk about at all? Uh, I think we covered quite a lot of it. You got everything out of your, uh, your little... Uh, uh, <coughs> everything but actually this, this little apron. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> it's 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 somewhat functional. It has pockets in it. Yes, yes. But I wouldn't put too much weight in those no. pockets. No, <laughs> couldn't carry some apples or anything like that. <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe uh, I, I don't know what uh, marshmallows or something. <laughs> <laughs> maybe marshmallows. <laughs> that was very sweet. Yeah. A lot of great things, though. Well, we've had uh, we've had fun talking to you. Uh, Thank we you. didn't hold this up again, but this is uh, just for the heck of it. We'll hold it up again, and people can see. Once you hold it, you can see it really is the same same dress, same style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I thank you for coming on Kwana Talk. Mm -hmm. We've thank really you for enjoyed having you. Thank you for asking and, me. And and uh, I I hope you enjoy wearing some of these clothes and find the opportunities to do so. More than you know, and I definitely will find the opportunity to. Okay. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much for joining us on Kiwana Talk, and I hope you'll join us again soon.